welcome to the Spanish River Carbonate Complex. Um, sorry for the noise, but we're doing our spring mining campaign, and uh, we're quite excited to produce for another year to supply our growing number of organic farmers in southern Ontario and into the United States. What makes this deposit so unusual? Well, we are standing in the neck of an extinct volcano. That in itself is quite unusual. Um, the other unusual feature is one of its major mineral constituents is calcite. And calcite is calcium carbonate, commonly found in limestone. But this is not limestone. As uh, I have preluded to, we are sitting in the neck of a volcano. What makes this also highly unusual is its mineral reactivity. Uh, carbonatite complexes are referred to as lithophilic, and lithophilic means that when exposed to an oxygen-rich environment, it wants to take on oxygen very quickly and oxidize. And so we refer to this as not soluble, but reactive. And as you can see, I'm looking at a face of rock, but the face of rock crumbles very, very easily. Now, what are some of the mineral constituents that we can see in the Spanish River Carbonate Complex? What makes it also unusual is their mineral complexity. Um, they belong to a family of rocks that have very unusual and incompatible mineral types, and they are also recognized because of the com complex nature and number of mineral species. In our deposit, the white bands that we're looking at are your calcite, your calcium carbonate. And associated with these white bands is another mineral that we're very interested in, which is referred to as apatite. And apatite is essentially rock phosphate, which is a beautiful, benign, slow-release phosphorus that uh, we believe, when put into a soil, is bioavailable as soil organisms and plants require. The black bands are also a very exciting part of our deposit, and they are comprised of peroxine-type minerals and biotite mica, and in this case, a lot of the biotite mica is already weathered to vermiculite. Uh, these black bands in our deposit is where we are getting our magnesium-rich uh, uh, minerals that contribute to soil development and our potassium. The other aspect that I love about these black bands is they are the most reactive part of the deposit and when we apply them to our soils, not only do they supply essential plants and soil organisms with nutrients, but soil life will take these minerals and convert them to what we refer to as high activity clays. That is vermiculite, uh, montmorillonites, and neolites. And these clays are essential to the functionality of, uh, of, of good soils. And I think we're going to take a run over and I'm going to show you our beds of bedded vermiculite, which is very interesting. That's a lovely face there, John. That sure. This is beautiful. Vermiculite is commonly used in potting soil blends. We are more interested in using it for its unique catalytic properties of holding on to essential plant nutrients and its unusual uh, clay catalytic properties. But it was this body of vermiculite and biotite, which we're sitting on top of, that caused that magnetic anomaly that originally resulted in the discovery of the Spanish River Carbonatite Complex. Thank you.